Hello everyone, I'm Ribbert and this is one of my builds. Um, it's gonna be a build that contains a large amount of canals, but um, I'm, the way I'm gonna put down the canals is gonna be a lot faster because I changed something about the way the canals work. They used to have this um, little, um, yeah, there's this menu management system that allows you to hide a lot of menu icons and uh, they only appear when whenever you um, plop down a related lot for those buttons and uh, I removed that lot because it also changed the type of item it was to a monument I believe or a landmark or something like that and that meant that you had to go back into the menu every time you plopped it down and now I don't have to do that, so here you can see me plopping these down quite efficiently and quite smoothly. And in addition to canals, I'm gonna be building a bunch of rails. And um, yeah, uh, I hope you like the episode and I hope you have a good time. Um, I did a lot of uh, speeding up because it took me a while still to build a lot of these things. So I hope you can appreciate that. And yeah, um, you might be able to hear that my voice sounds a little bit different this episode. And that is because my sister was, um, yeah, she's a very sweet person in general. But this Christmas she was extra nice, I guess. <laughs> um, she bought me a new microphone and I was really happy with uh yeah, with the new microphone, uh, th this is the first time I'm really using it. So I hope you can appreciate the new quality of the audio. I hope it comes across well, but we'll have to see how that all works. Um, yeah, so here I'm just uh, starting to level out some terrain and stuff. And uh, I'm just preparing a little neighborhood that I'm about to build. Um, I wanted to build a little bit of a residential neighborhood there. And so I'm just gonna prepare that first by doing some landscaping. It's a pretty basic uh, technique for landscaping. What you do is you use these roads to make stuff flat. And I want it to be... It didn't have to be absolutely flat and it's not going to be absolutely flat, but uh, it's going to be main mostly flat. And uh, the reason I do that is because uh, the diagonals for these canals, at least the transition bits, but I believe all the diagonals work best when the ground underneath it is flat. So these side pieces I'm gonna make absolutely flat and here I thought maybe it would be faster to use avenues to flatten things but that didn't end up working because yeah they don't share that property um, if you drag them next to uh, an already flat road they do work to speed up your flattening but um, yeah I didn't do that here uh, I ended up just using the normal streets, yeah, for no real reason, but I guess it made, uh, yeah, I could have just used avenues, so no good reason, but uh, it's fine, it's not that much extra work. So here I'm just preparing this area, as you can see there's a, there was a bit of a height difference and I used rails to make that smooth, and here I used the streets to continue that uh, that gradient down and the canal there had uh, yeah it just had the random gradient that the terrain had so I didn't want that to change and I decided to leave a little bit of a gap between the flattened parts and the canal so the canals just gonna keep the gradient that it already had for the most part uh, at those points where it transitions or it has like an intersection uh, it di I did flatten it because those look best when it's absolutely flat and here I'm just 
I, I didn't really plan this very well, but uh, it ended up um, working pretty nicely with uh, the way the um, the buildings ended up fitting in. And yeah, so I I think I just got lucky. I just eyeballed it at the start, and it ended up fitting pretty nicely. Now here. <laughs> um, I'm counting out because I want to use the 6x6 six six buildings here because uh, I wanted to do a mix of the 10x10s ten tens and the 6x6 six six buildings and uh, the 6x6 six six needed one extra block to fit so I decided to just make a bit of a transition and I was thinking about moving that road over the, that connecting road at the top but I thought the solution that I came up with was interesting enough, so I just kept it like that. And here I'm just doing some general planning. I thought I um, it would look kind of cool to have uh, one of those blocks directly next to the canal, so that's why I did that. And here I'm looking for an S-band for the street to make it transition more smoothly, but there is no S-band for some reason. I seem to remember there being an S-band, but there isn't. So I just used this diagonal and it first looked a bit janky, but it ended up working all right. So I was pretty happy about that solution. And here I'm just thinking, yeah, I want some more of those 10 by 10 blocks. And I thought, yeah, it might be nice to have one over there. And I decided to use some pet moles uh, near the side of it. In general, when you build residential, you can't use pet moles because um, the residential areas can't use pet moles to find their routes to the jobs. But once they've found the routes, they can use the pet moles to walk a bit. Although this area is not going to be a lot of people walking because the jobs are a bit far for that and they'd have to walk all the way around so they're probably just gonna use um, I might build some farms nearby or something like that so they might end up walking towards their farming jobs later on but I won't do that in this episode I think I'll do one or two more episodes on this city and then I'll uh, because this city is like medium density mostly I zoned these big lots as high density but they they seem more like medium density to me when you consider how large they are and the amount of people that they can hold and here I decided to do a little bit of a different pattern for the panels and I wanted to do those with the flower gardens the flower gardens they are a bit low in pixel number I guess compared to the other pet moles but I think they look fine enough you don't have to um, always worry about if uh, something looks absolutely crisp it's just about the feel that it creates of a nice little chilling area near the canal where you can just hang out with some friends I guess um, yeah, so here I'm thinking about how I'm going to connect it. And I end up just using those two access roads that I placed already. And I think it's fine. Because there's the rails on the bottom, so it didn't make sense to um, make another rail crossing there. And uh, the amount of rail crossings in this city is not very realistic from my perspective, because... Um, well, at least these days, they pretty much try to remove all the rail crossings because even though uh, you might put up a bunch of signs and whatever, there's always the risk of people just ignoring the signs or being on their phone or whatever might happen. So these days, we don't have a lot of those crossings anymore because the accidents that you can have are very ugly. So, in at least in the Netherlands, we just tend to have viaducts for rails. But viaducts were a bit... Yeah, they didn't really fit in this area. 
and with the canals they w they would look pretty weird I think I don't yeah uh, maybe maybe they wouldn't look that weird but at least for this little residential area I thought a viaduct would have looked a bit weird but I'm gonna uh, end up the the access road that I'm gonna be uh, building is gonna end up crossing the rails and I might build a viaduct there in the future just to make it a bit more safe and also because it's like a main rail line that's gonna have a lot of traffic and here I was thinking about uh, designing a park and I found these playground bits um, or parts that are on the bottom of of the menu for me at least and I here I just place them down in the in, in the order that they show up in the menu and that's just me making a bit of a palette I do that uh, a whole lot in different builds that I do I just make a palette of all the parts so I can uh, look at the parts and figure out which one I want to use and I build them in the right order so it would be it would be pretty easy to figure out which one I wanted and here I'm just starting a park by building some access road and I thought I'd round those off by using diagonals because I thought those looked a bit better than using the rounded endpoints but uh, you could use either of those they both look fine and yeah so here I decided to use uh, these two playground bits um, well mostly because I thought they looked the best but also because I thought they fit in the best in this area and here I'm just figuring out if I want to use a wide or a narrow uh, park path in this area and I end up using the wide ones to make a little bit of a yeah a little bit of a hangout area there might be a bit too many light poles there but uh, yeah <laughs> I can't really control uh, the amount of light poles that they have and I think it's fine in general there's a lot of light poles in the park in my experience and it's not a huge park but it's a nice addition to this neighborhood where people can just hang out and I placed a little bit of a shop there because uh, I've seen some parks with a small shop nearby the idea was that it might be like a candy shop or a, I don't know maybe just a bagel shop or whatever uh, people want to buy near near a park and here I'm using these cypress trees I believe they're cypresses um, but there might be spruces or whatever um, and I thought it would be a cool pattern and I used the, the grid lines to uh, I tried to put one in the middle of a grid uh, block thingy and I tried to put one at the edge of them so you'd get a nice even spacing and these trees have a, s a number of different models so if you click them more often than once uh, they tend to go into a bigger model and I like the way the shadows looked at that street over there so yeah here I'm just thinking of parts for a different park and I haven't I haven't played around with this park set a lot but I do know that they look best on very flat areas because the fences that they have they are not at least on the curved pieces they don't tend to conform to a slope and here I noticed that this area was uh, like an even amount of white <laughs> it was like 10 blocks wide because of the uh, block that I used so I decided to use an even number wide uh, centerpiece and I thought let's just 
make a little bit of a plaza around it and here I thought wait I could just do a bunch of parasols uh, as a terrace kind of area and then make some small shops which I hope would turn into like little restaurants or whatever they probably won't because it's random if you really want to force restaurants or whatever there's tricks you can do by uh, using a maxis blocker and just having a certain set of uh, lots in your plugins folder but that's too much of a hassle for me and here I thought these diagonals looked a bit weird so I ended up giving them a whole bunch of extra pavement area and in general this this area does have a lot of pavement area and it might be a bit unrealistic but uh, yeah whatever I don't know I don't really have a reference for this area I don't have a lot of well I've seen I've, I used to live near a place that had a canal similar to this uh, I've talked about that a bit already but um, yeah that that place did have a lot of pavement near the canal and it had a bunch of shops um, lining the canal with a bunch of pavement in between and they used to use those areas of extra pavement for festivals and stuff so I guess we can imagine that uh, it's just uh, well, extra area you might need to, to maintain the canal or I don't know. <laughs> you use your imagination and uh, make your own fantasy. So here I used some grass to make the park area a bit more um, consistent. I think is the word. Putting down some water. And yeah, I think this this whole area it pretty much ended the way ended up looking similar to what I had in mind and here I'm um, I'm putting down the access road and I decided to keep an extra gap especially on the diagonals because um, yeah in, in the f in the first town in this region that I built you might have seen me uh, mess around with the canals a whole bunch and at some point I remembered that I, uh, I I did have a canal all figured out and then I built a road next to it and it derped out super hard and I ended up spending like 45 minutes to fix it all well it wasn't 45 minutes but it was 26 minutes or something like that and I ended up cutting that out of the video to spare you all the derps so I decided to just not take any risks here and just keep an extra extra space and I'm just gonna end up filling that not in this episode but at some point I'll fill that up with some plants maybe do some cypresses over there or yeah whatever that plant is called I think it's cypresses at least they look like cypresses um, yeah and here the side to just flatten the road to make it smooth and yeah I wanted the smooth slope there so I needed um, yeah the rails when you have like a to, to get a smooth slope like that you need two points that the rails can't change or are not likely to change so you put down a single bit of road on each side or I think crossings also work like that but if you put down a single bit of road on each side then the rail will make a smooth line between those points which will help you get smooth roads and here I'm thinking yeah so I s just sped up to September on the little calendar clock in the bottom left because I wanted to do some foliage and I have a whole bunch of seasonal plants that you have to put down in September to make them all a good, yeah, change with the seasons in the right way. 
but at first I uh, started by putting down a bunch of evergreen kind of plants and I'm j just adding some uh, seasonal plants now to add a bunch of color to it and I started with a bunch of very big plants and now I'm just adding some smaller plants uh, and I do like this mix of plants because it has these quite differently colored um, trees they're all by the same author I'm not sure if the evergreen plants were also by the same author but it's giraffe or giraffe I'm not sure how you spell giraffe but I thought it would be with two F's but I guess that might just be how we spell it in the Netherlands <laughs> whatever um, so here I'm using these yellow flowers at first I went with the um, less intense yellow color and then I added some accents with the more intense yellow color I'm not sure if I like the way the yellow plants look but I think I think it's fine they look a bit dirty but that might just be dirt that comes from the rails and here I thought I'd add a little bit of an accent with the straw by giving it a bit of a dirty kind of feel well it's not really necessarily dirty but it's it looks a bit like dirt it doesn't really look like straw but that's fine b fine by me I just want to give it a bit of a dirt kind of look and I think it, it's very subtle and if you don't know it's there you're probably not gonna see it but I, I like to add those kind of small details to things and here I'm just very carefully putting down some trees so that's the the upside of this type of park set um, there's still a whole yeah the even though I put down those grass bits over there you can still put plants on them so that allows you to make some very nice decorations I think these look all right they aren't spectacular or anything but it's fine you just use your talent or whatever to make whatever you think looks nice and here I'm just adding some more flowers because I thought uh, parks tend to have flower beds so yeah first I went in with some multicolor flowers and then I added some pink flowers and here I remember that I had some nice blues but one of them was a bit a bit too blue for this park I thought so I tested it out before I put uh, put them down and here I'm just putting some wildflowers that are mostly green just to give it a bit of a grassy overgrown look and I turned off the grid at this point because I thought it it helped make the the park look a bit more natural I think I turned the grid off a bit earlier actually but whatever so here I'm just gonna see what kind of buildings develop and as you can see uh, what what mostly developed there was low wealth residential yeah I was kind of hoping on high wealth stuff or medium wealth stuff but it was maybe they'll develop later and yeah there I just found and there's another one yeah there's some industrial areas that are complaining about being disconnected so I'm using some industrial fillers to yeah just remove those buildings and to still make it look industrial I'm probably gonna spend some time off camera filling more of the industrial area because there's a lot of um, empty areas that aren't growing anything in the industrial stuff and I kind of want to fix that with some fillers so it doesn't look too weird and here I decided that I wanted to 
have some canal going into the industrial area because I thought it might be might be kind of cool to have some interaction with industry and canals because in real life you would have that um, canals are a very at least in the in the Netherlands they are very often used uh, to transport goods and they're a very efficient way of doing that so this is the place where I'm gonna build that uh, rail crossing and I think I might do a viaduct here at some point instead because it's possible to make the canal go underneath bridges so what I would do is hmm I'm not sure maybe I try to force a bridge or I just use a viaduct and make the canal go underneath and it might look a bit weird with the pillar in the middle of the canal but uh, yeah life is a bit weird sometimes and uh, it's fine it's not realistic I didn't like the way that crossing looked so I decided to look at the street widening mode and see if they also looked weird the crossing looked like that because I installed a um, well I, d I installed that like a while back but it's a, a a mod for the rails that adds um, catenaries to them so there's like the um, yeah it, it it basically makes them look like electrified the rails but the mod isn't super complete I don't know there might be better mods out there I've seen someone uh, yeah uh, I can't remember the name because I'm bad at names but somebody posted a video like yesterday I believe where he built a golf course and he does have a pretty good mod for his rails so I'm gonna see if he mentions with which mods he uses somewhere and see if that might be a real mod that I want to use but uh, for now <laughs> I'm just working with what I have here and yeah so I'm just starting I don't know why I deleted and replaced that that looked weird maybe I had in mind that I wanted to do something different there hmm. kind of weird and here I'm placing down these canals and they look super janky so I decided to just make it all flat and to make sure that it's all the same level I decided to start at the point where they transitioned into diagonal and there was one area that I for some reason could p couldn't put down a street bit on and I s thought maybe something derped and I had to use the zone remove tool but th that di di didn't work but in the end it ended up looking fine so no big deal yeah building some more canals and yeah this one did look a bunch uh, yeah quite janky because it wasn't flattened far enough yeah so the idea of this canal is gonna be that there's um, an industrial area around it and you can't uh, the canal doesn't have a, a piece for diagonal bridges it does have orthogonal bridges or straight bridges so I decided to make a little bit of a straight bit over there and that, that ended up also giving me some extra space for uh, the industrial area and here I thought I'd do a little bit of a station here so I ended up doubling the track for a short bit before going back into the single track well I guess you the normal track is double track and I uh, went into quadruple track and here I'm just looking for a piece that transitions from straight into two diagonals but there isn't such a piece 
And the reason I was looking for that piece is because I wanted to do a bit of a freight yard, but uh, in the end I didn't have that piece. And I ended up doing the freight yard a bit different. It's not going to be as big of a freight yard as I built last time. Um, I think that freight yard would have been more of a storage yard for freight stuff. And this is more of a transition yard where you um, send your trains with the freight uh, and then have it transition onto boats. Or I, I think you call them boats. There's like a difference between ships and boats. And I think the difference is that ships tend to go onto the sea or the ocean, but I'm not sure. And I like this bigger freight yard a bit more. As you can see, they have a bit of a crane. And uh, the, the, tr the crane, or the, yeah, the crane doesn't really extend over it but in my imagination it does have the capacity to put stuff onto the ships and yeah I'm just gonna use that idea to simulate a, a transit tran transit depot I don't know how you'd call that uh, I guess it transitions from one um, mode of traffic into the other and as you can see there, there's a brown box whenever I make a um, an intersection with the rails without using the special intersection uh, flex pieces. And that's, I guess there's one catenary missing in the mod or whatever. And here I'm just using these um, street bits to paint out the general s shape of the of the canal area that I wanted and yeah here I'm just putting down the straight bits and I have to rotate every one of them because I kept the streets in the middle I should have just deleted them already uh, as I'm doing right now because it would have saved me a whole bunch of rotating puzzle pieces <laughs> uh, yeah that's about the canal so I had in mind that I was gonna do a tra diagonal transition there and I thought yeah that looks good enough and here I'm putting down each rotation and picking one uh, I don't know the the water transitions aren't super smooth but if you don't stare at it too long, it's fine. You can see some seams there, but it's fine. And yeah, just like that. Just like that, I uh, built a bit of a canal area. And, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool with that little freight yard in the middle. And the idea is that uh, the other areas near the canal... Um, hmm. Yeah, so here the... Yeah, okay, with the street atom mod it turns out it does look alright with the rail crossing. So the, the other areas, yeah, they're just for like trucks coming in and there's uh, at least I've seen um, freight boats or ships with cranes installed on on them themselves so that's kind of the idea for that little uh, for those other areas you could just have some trucks pulling up and then uh, a, a boat with a crane on it making sure that it all transitions so that freight yard is more of a storage yard, I guess. And here I thought, I'm going to put a station there. A passenger station, by the way, not a freight station. And I thought it would make sense to have some uh, offices nearby. Because uh, oftentimes offices and uh, 
more industrial areas tend to be mixed in my experience so I thought that m would make some sense and here I'm just adding some more parking to make it all round off into some coherent kind of uh, looking thing and I don't know yeah I could have just kept the the puzzle piece that I put there first but I ended up using these because I noticed the arrows and then I thought let's do a little bit of a pet mall to make it look more interesting <coughs> I thought maybe a bench there for people having lunch or whatever so they have a place to uh, sit outside and I'm just using some industrial fillers here to uh, yeah, fill in the gaps to uh, I guess make it look a bit like a complete uh, industrial little area I don't really like the look of the transition between that street and the rails so I might change that at some point but for now it's just gonna have a little bit of a zigzag <coughs> here I uh, noticed that the medium wealth was having some issues so I decided to give some s them some education to uh, yeah, just increase the desirability of the area and I ended up checking whether really the hospital was doing okay and it was a bit short on funding in terms of park value this area should be super fine because the canal adds some park value and um, yeah, I built a bunch of parks nearby, so that should be fine. So it was really just the surfaces that were lacking there. So I ended up adding some uh, fire services and some uh, police services and uh, making sure that that area had everything they needed. So I'm just adding some services to the industrial area as well to make sure that they have everything they need. And as you can see, a lot of those lots were already starting to redevelop. And here I'm checking to see if I e even ever built a college in this town and I did not. And at first I thought maybe there's a nice place where I can fit a university in because I do believe the university and the college overlap in a very big amount they don't really uh, I guess they supplement each other because they're both a uh, positive value to your education rating but at first I just wanted to do a college because its capacity is already super big and here I'm just showing the city for a little bit this little area came out came together pretty nicely I'm pretty happy with uh, the way it looks and uh, yeah this industrial area it didn't grow as fast as I wished but I think that's just a demand thing I just need a lot more residential in this area but I do th like the way it looks with all the trains and all the busyness going around it and this is a bit more of an overview of the area with a big triangle, a triangular forest. It really changed the feel of this whole area. Just adding this little neighborhood. It just, and the canal of course, I guess. But it really made it look a lot more urban. And yeah, I don't know. <coughs> I think it would be a nice place to live. And uh with the shops being quite nearby I think the shops actually look pretty cool like that with the little oh okay it looks like the pet malls change sometimes so one of them doesn't have parasols maybe three of them don't have parasols anymore so I might have to uh, uh, redo those and uh, make sure that the buildings next to them are uh, historical so they don't change and uh, derp out the pet malls again and here's some night shots 
you can see the no road access sign next to that uh, yeah, this is a bit of a steam train for some reason there's a steam train in this pack that I have I think it's fine let's just imagine that we're in the 60s or whatever um, anyways thank you all for watching and I'd like to see you again goodbye <laughs>